If you're a fantasy owner, you need to know about the matchups. Right, the matchups. We've got some pretty interesting ones uh, th this weekend, Jeff. I'm going to go ahead. Let's go ahead. Let's go back to the Cowboys. I mean, the kid that I absolutely love to watch playing, I call him, I can call him a kid because he is actually younger than me, which is scary to think. Des Bryant. I mean, he's built a little bit bigger than me, but he's still a kid. He's a freak of nature. What are we looking for with this matchup? You know, he, he's my go to guy of the week. You know, he, he doesn't have a, he's only got 100 yard um, receiving day in his entire career, which is hard to believe, but it was against the Giants last year. You know, I think this is the year, he, this is the week that he finally gets that 100 yard receiving. Um, for, for this year, you know, he's had a touchdown in three of the last four games. Last week against Arizona in that overtime loss, he had eight catches, but he had 14 targets. So Romo's definitely starting to look his way. I think he has a huge breakout game. He's only played in two games against the Giants, but in those, those games, he's got four touchdowns three receiving, one uh, on the return. And, and I really think he would have had even better numbers, but one of those games was the game that Romo broke his collarbone in last year. And the other one, he had John Kitten as his quarterback. And you're really starting to see him and him and Romo find some chemistry. And I think this is on the grand stage, Des Bryant shows up and has a huge game. And, and it, not only for the Cowboys, but for fantasy owners out there. I mean, both these two teams love to play in the second half, it seems, for some reason. You know, the Giants, I mean, we've obviously found out that no better quarterback in the NFL in the fourth quarter is Eli Manning. I don't know how the heck that happened. But, but goodness, you look at these two teams and the way they've been able to play, the second half is going to be kind of scary, don't you think? Well, you know, both teams are kind of slow starters. And I'm, like I said, I'm anticipating a high-scoring affair. Hope, I'm not starting either one of their defenses this week if, I, if I'm a fantasy owner just because I don't think it's going to be a, be one of those field goal trading battles. You know, the, the Cowboys offense has been kind of out of sync and hadn't really been able to find its groove. But I think with, with Murray now in the backfield and Felix Jones starting to get healthy and then welcoming back Miles Austin. Plus, on the other side, the Giants receivers getting healthy. It's going to be one of those ones where you just you got to get the final stop and hopefully – for me, anyway, it's the Cowboys being being that Dallas fan that I am. <laughs> Said it with a nice little smile on the face, too. All right, well, last question going back to Des Bryant. Who's going to be on him? In your mind, who do you think is it going to be that's actually going to be covering Bryant the entire time? It, it's going to be – they're going to mix and match. They'll probably bring the safety over. You, you have know, to. Like, like you said, they've got some guys banged up. You know, the, the size matchup for, for Dez is the big thing because I think he's bigger than most of their cornerbacks. So I think you see multiple guys, and that's really how some teams have been effective against him. It's kind of changed up their looks a little bit. And I think that, that confuses Romo a little bit as well. So you're, you're going to see – I don't think you see a linebacker on him, but I definitely see you're, you're going to see one of their top cornerbacks maybe slide, slide some of the coverage from the safeties over. 